Hey, welcome back train simmers and thanks for joining today's stream. I hope everyone is doing okay. We are playing some train sim world 2 and today we start the journey in the northern Transpennine in UK where we will be kicking things off with a very exciting train and a route. So settle in guys. Now before we take off, a big thanks for all your support so far guys and, and huge thanks again. And, and really if you are new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing because if you love trains if you love planes and simulations and, and video games in general then we should definitely ride together so let's jump in and i'll see you in the cockpit all right so it's going to be a fun ride so let's go Okay, so we take the class 45 slash 1 blue. I hope that's what it's called. And what I have in mind is the Leeds Manchester Victoria Express. So we can either do the 921 0921 AM service or I think let's do, but okay, this is Leeds. To Manchester Victoria the return service okay, these are the evening Okay, so Leeds Manchester Victoria Express drive a westbound locomotive hauled Transpennine service calling at Huddersfield only. So only one stop, which is something I like. Hey guys, hello. Thanks for joining the stream. Hello.
Okay, so this is our tray. it's a cold day turning the lamp but it's not Okay, but we don't have a signal yet so let's check oops all right we held Okay, we are good to go. Our signal is green.
sorry i was on mute ouch sorry tyler so i was saying i didn't know that this is a soviet engine i didn't suspect it is no or the sulzer whatever is the name i think is is the manufacturer of the power plant i don't know if that is a soviet company but the uh, engines i think were crew and derby i mean the coaches were crew and derby is i think who manufactured it and i can very well be wrong but yeah extremely old so these services probably don't even exist i think that's what the uh, game i mean the manual says yes i was on mute buddy i was in mute <coughs> So they have now gen generously lifted the speed limit to 20, and we have an uphill. Beautiful scenery, I would say. Thanks, Tyler. Okay, speed limit is now up at sixty. So. very accurately recreated interiors on, on this engine. I mean, just, just look at that throttle handle there and, and the, this is like what brass knobs? I think they definitely look like brass. The 14 is truly t-shirt weather and, I mean, and that too in Canada, wow. So, uh, I mean, Amsterdam has been also quite a bit of t-shirt weather today, I think in the, in the noon, afternoon times, but then evening onwards, uh, though we have clear skies, we have blisteringly cold wind and, you know, as soon as there was sundown, the temperature just dropped by like two, three degrees on the spot. I mean, that's how Amsterdam weather changes. It, it changes in a matter of minutes and it gets colder in a matter of minutes. You can feel that speed in the cold. But wow, well, so foot, I mean, happy to hear that, bro. I mean, enjoy the weather. I think the forecast here is as well to have some sun tomorrow. So looking forward to that. Springs definitely around the corner. Everywhere, I think, now. Which is then truly in spirit with the mission at hand today. In, in, in a very green summer. I think I had said the time period in this to June. So this is emulating June. So beautiful summer sun, everything green everywhere. So in the spirit of the day and the weekend, then cheers to good weather, Tyler. So 
snow should uh, yeah with that kind of a weather i'm sure the snow would melt <coughs> so do you like go out cycling driving running running's really not my kind of a thing though but yeah here we cycle a lot Hey Jumble, welcome to the stream man. Where have you been, my friend? How are you doing, Jumble? Few more months. So, I mean, I am guessing you should be able to do that in when? May, end of May, June, Tyler? Probably not before that. Cheers to all of you, my friend. Have awesome fun. Absolutely doing fine, Jumble. All good. All good. So today we are driving this beautiful train from Manchester to Leeds. Uh, this is part of Northern Trans Pennine, a diesel electric class 45 blue. Mid May. Yeah, makes sense. We, we, we had absolute brilliant sun for the last two days and when the sun's shining at some points in the afternoon, I think it went 10 or 11 today, felt nice. Wow. It, it won't go mid 20s here in, in Amsterdam, I think, mid May. It, it will only be June or July, I think. Hi, Aviation Kid. Hello. Hi, my friend. Welcome to the channel, Aviation Kid. can turn the cab light on for sure okay here it was I'm absolutely having to fumble I don't think it, it gets that hot here, Tyler. Maybe I. It's rare. I don't think I'm because that's that's also the speciality. It also never gets very hot. I mean, it definitely never gets as cold as Canada. It gets cold, but it's also never very hot. <laughs> it's rare for houses here to have air conditioning. They don't even have a fan or a ventilator what you call it hey 
Hey everyone, good evening everyone. Now we have a downhill, steep one at that, so throttles are off, throttle is off, and with a bit of a break as well. Hi Rose, hi Rose 07. Hello Wisconsin Rail fan, welcome back to the stream guys. Of course I remember you bro. Welcome back to the stream my friends. How's everyone doing? Okay, my speed is a little, still a little bit ambitious. here I think it it would usually not get to that kind of a state Tyler in, in Amsterdam like from my experience on a couple of days when it like really felt warm last season during summer again I really mean it when I say only a couple of days probably when the temperature would have been like a 25 or a 26 which is rare if you leave the windows open on the either side of the house you're sorted I mean by evening again and, and of course by the night it's cold. Yes, Wisconsin rail fan, I'm guessing that you are from the Wisconsin side. Again, stupid question if it is. Apologies. So yeah. I was always aware of how cold Canada gets, but then I never thought that probably Canada also gets really warm to that extent that you'd really need an AC. My, my image of Canada is like this. It's cold. It's cold is how I think of Canada. But again, good to know. So we are 5.5 miles out of Huddersfield. How's everyone? So we have Wisconsin Rail Pan. We have Roos. 07 we have Tyler we have Jumble sorry if I'm missing anybody out other folks that I am not calling out the name of feel free to say hi <clears throat>
Oh. And and this is the aviator in you speaking, Tyler. What do you mean? Uh, Wisconsin rail fan, sorry. CP199 today had NS8105. Okay. Releasing the brakes again. So three point three miles out. Any opinions, folks, on on Northern Trans Pennine? Pennine. <clears throat> And the class 45 blue, I mean, again, personal opinion, awesome route. And I have this observation that, you know, when, when dovetail games, they, in, in their routes, like, especially the UK ones, are like really usually the best of the lot. Again, I would still say the same thing. They need longer routes, or we need longer routes for sure. <clears throat> Something like what we do in Flight Sim, Tyler. You know, it's one of the beauties of Flight Sim is it's why it's so relaxing is when you can do those long flights. It's like enjoy the scenery, enjoy the beautiful blue skies and the height and take your time there is no rush that is a bit of a problem with train sim world 2 right now with the length of the routes or the duration of the routes so yeah longer routes needed
So you are into AV, like if you're talking, you're talking planes, right? So you're referring to turboprops, Wisconsin rail fan, I guess. Or are those train engines you're talking about? Again, my apologies about the limited knowledge on that, but are those trains or planes that you dash nine somehow rings a bell? Are these American trains, my friend? Again, once again, my apologies for if I am coming across as an absolute idiot on those numbers. Okay, I'm, I thought so. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I am I am going to look those up, right? Because maybe I, I have even more limited knowledge, maybe about American trains, especially outside of the Amtrak's usually. And that to the ones, I mean, I, I always, you know, have thought nicely of Amtrak's uh, on a couple of occasions when I've seen those trains. But the interest only picked up more when I started playing Train Sim World 2. And then thanks to Northeast Corridor, which is Boston Sprinter, and Peninsula Corridor, and Sand Patch Gray. These have been my sources of knowledge for uh, American trains so far. And out of that, Amtrak and definitely the Caltrain, the, the Peninsula Corridor, Baby Bullet, definitely. And I know, Tyler, th that's that's also your favorite, if I'm not wrong, right? Very glad to say that we have avoided any disasters and are arriving in a way one is supposed to. So I braked very ambitiously and, and as a result stopped short, but it's okay now. <clears throat> If you know me and if you know my driving style, then you will know that this is a good day. This lady is going to be hit by the engine. If, if I were a train driver in real life or a pilot, and if I saw somebody waving, I would definitely wave back. Well, I'm not a train driver and I'm not a pilot and I still wave back at people when they wave at me. And here's me waving at all of you, my friends. I don't know if you can clearly notice, but I think you can. The the effect of the light being on inside the engine room is, is so amazing in this one. You can see it here, guys. Maybe I should show it to you from inside. 
yeah there's one there there's one there and you can see the grime and the dirt on the glasses just like how they used to be in the old days here is a quick look around inside the cabin of the class 45 blue that's the guard second man i think that's how they're called seat she is the guard or the second man in the trip today i don't know what lights those are okay those buttons i don't know what they are for i'm not gonna mess with them hi anti chat welcome to the chat my friend welcome to the stream hi bloodgate hello bur hey alex hi everyone thanks for joining the stream guys okay now this is going to be interesting oh i cannot of course i don't have signal i forgot i was about to take off that's the standard me usually okay now i'm sliding back even I think we will be held here till the freight train clears the line, which is fine, which is fine. Hi, class party lad. Hello to everyone in the stream, guys. Thank you so much. So excited all of you are here. Hope you're liking the stream. For folks who came in late again, we are on Northern Transpennine, UK today and we are doing a class 45 blue. This is the express service from Leeds. This is the express service from Manchester to Leeds. And uh, we have one stop in between, which is Huddersfield. That's where we are right now. And the next stop is going to be Manchester, Victoria, 22 miles from here. As soon as we get a signal to proceed. So that's where we are and folks in the stream folks that are new to the channel that are new to the stream would really appreciate if you consider subscribing for train train simulation and related stuff and yeah big thanks to you for being here subscribing liking all of the usual stuff Let's take a look at the train in between. So this is what we are driving. This is the Manchester Victoria Leeds Express. And yeah, this is what we were discussing earlier. Something that looks like a jail car or, or something that maybe where you put your what? vehicles, horses, crooks, I don't know what these are for. Well, and there is a guard cabin in between there. Yeah, it does look something like that. So this is Northern Transpennine from, you know, another time and age where 
you know, diesels were still okay. Such heavy diesel engines. I think they're still okay in a lot of parts of the world. They get used. But yeah. <clears throat> These are pretty much like the monsters. Okay, proceed as signals indicate. I'm not sure what that really means. Because it still says proceed. Anybody in 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 the stream, if you're if you have done uh, Northern Transpennine, do you know what this would mean? Because I'm really scared to proceed because the signal is still red. But when I was doing this earlier, it it was saying the denied wait for signal to change. Now it's not as harsh. It has softened it tone. But I'm still a little skeptical to go ahead. I am. I think I am. Because in Train Sim World 2, at least unless where the, the scenario tells you to, you don't have to switch tracks and stuff. Or do you have to? Okay, this one looks green. Let me just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. If it fails, it fails. It's okay. I'm not sure if this is going to get messed up. It won't, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. We're good. We are still here. That's a celebratory honk. And I'm going to turn the cab light on. This is how the class 45 blue looks from out in the dark. It's pretty nice, I would say.
we now we're full throttle one person uphill gradient 21 miles out of manchester victoria so we are going from leeds to victoria my bad with the stop at huddersfield but yeah beautiful scenery and being a UK route or being a British route you can always trust that you know there will be a lot of winding curves and rolling fields around so they are always fun it's really beautiful I I too am going to look that up, Tyler, for sure. Thanks for sharing that information, man. That's that's interesting stuff. So I would. So 58 miles per hour, our class 45 is now going pretty much like a pit bull, going uphill in a 1.1%, I mean 1% uh, uphill gradient, doing perfectly fine. 19 miles out of Manchester, Victoria. So. I'm going to watch my speed because there is a yellow signal ahead and there is also a likelihood that I'll be given a red 
signal at some point to kind of make me wait in case I'm too early in arriving. speed down to 40 and back above 60.
to no intercity trains, Tyler? Uh, I'm sure there are intercity trains, right? And, and what does NS stand for, Tyler? Because th the reason I ask is we also have NS in the Netherlands. So the railway system in Netherlands, or the railway operator in the Netherlands, uh, the state one is called NS, which is Netherlands spool wagon. Ooh, wow. How did I pick up this kind of a speed? So yeah, the Dutch uh, National Railway is also called NS and then there are some private operators like Arriba but then NS itself is like extremely good. Okay, thanks, thanks Wisconsin Rail Pan. Thanks for that. And the Dutch NS stands for Netherlands Spoorwagen Wagen. Okay, 11 miles out of Victoria. Again, good evening to everyone in the chat uh, and the stream for folks who came in late. We, we are uh, doing, uh, one second. yeah, so we are on the Northern Trans Pennine in, in the UK. We are doing the Leeds to Manchester Victoria Express service that comes with a single halt to Huddersfield and we are driving the class 45 blue which is this so speed management is, is kind of crucial on this route especially because there's a lot of uphills and downhill runs and, and you know I think this is kind of changing 
very very suddenly so one moment you're going uphill probably struggling a little bit and the very other next moment you're like red and over speeding already there we go which is fine which is what we are here to manage It also makes sense, Tyler, because of the sheer size of the country. Again, uh, I come from India, where, of course, India is also a relatively large country. Definitely much, much, much bigger than the Netherlands. And in India, there are still, you know, you know, train routes which kind of span two days. Uh, or so, like 36 hours, 48 hours and, and such. I think a lot of people do take the flight these days, but then there is still a significant number of people who still use the train. That's one problem. It's not like, you know, people don't love the experience of traveling by train, but sometimes time does become a challenge. There we go, careful with the speed. <coughs> yeah, wow. Similar, yeah. I'll need to fix the audio quickly. The train sound may have just disappeared. This is okay because compared to what it used to be, this is relatively tame behavior. So.
careful with the speed there I think it's 15 miles per hour is the limit here I'm at 9% throttle I've just switched lines and 7 miles out of Manchester The idea of mooning people at a passing train, no, that's fun, it's a funny one Tyler. A gentle nine percent throttle for a gentle point one percent downhill slope. To stay just under the limit of fifty.
Hey, bye, Wisconsin Rail fan. See you, see you, my friend. See you back later. See you back tomorrow. Have a nice Sunday. It's quite a bit of a downhill slope, so 0.7%. It's not down to 30%. Speed limit at 60, 3.3 miles out of Manchester.
quite a slow. You can see 1.7% and yeah, it's better to slow down. interesting thing with this locomotive the class 45 blue is that you really have to manage the throttle very carefully there's a lag of course it's a diesel that there's a bit of a lead up time to while the engine spools up but when it does it does very suddenly so you end up getting wheel spin or wheel slip as it's called here gentlemen and ladies Okay, that's not too bad. So, before we go on to the next, folks in the stream, folks in the chat, uh, feel free to let me know which one do we do next. Uh, if you have any choices uh, about which route to do next, do let me know in the chat. Uh, if not, then I can always pick one that I like and, and hopefully I'll try and pick something that you would like as well. But so while we do that, I also grab myself a cup of tea and I'll be back in exactly six or seven minutes. So don't go away. Please be right here. Maybe get yourself a coffee, tea or something that you'd like to drink. Do 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 go ahead with that and uh, see you back here in about seven minutes and then we start with the next route and after which we will wrap up for the day so the second half of the stream in about seven minutes will be very interesting so don't go away folks see you back be right back <music>
leaving folks um, I'm back so second half of the stream let us try something different we did a UK we did diesel so maybe it's time for some German routes and we pick the PR 1822 DB Okay, let's do this. So we have PR 182DB, Freiburg, Sachs to Dresden, Friedrichstadt. Okay. So let's set the train up. Cursor is forward. Instrument lights are set. That sounds better. Brakes released. Let's fix the lights. Right on.
There we go. So on our way folks, we are headed to Dresden, the next stop is at Dresden Altstadt. We started from Friedrichsburg or we are starting from Friedrichsburg. Okay, now the speed limits up to 100, so we can increase the throttle to about 90%. So if you have seen my yesterday's stream, yesterday we tried the BR187 uh, and, and yesterday we tried the BR-187 in Schnellfahrstreck colon. That's the base scenario where the 187 adds freight. So today we are now doing the BR-182. Think of it as the smaller cousin of the 187. A slightly smaller, not smaller, but probably a little less powerful than the 187 but by all means a very powerful locomotive still and we need brakes here before we derail I'm going very very fast You can pretty well imagine how powerful these locomotives are because I am at a throttle level 1 right now and this guy is just pulling at 53 kilometers per hour with ease effortlessly.
Nice. So where are you flying to? From where to where, Tyler? And what are you flying, my good sir? Managing the speed very carefully, trying not to overshoot the limits. Nice. Happy flying, Tyler. Hope you have a good and relaxing flight and an amazing uh, six pointer or three pointer. What is that called? A six pointer landing or a three pointer landing, whichever is the best one. So do you hand fly the approaches when you land Tyler? What do you prefer? Okay. Watch my speed. Okay, that should do it. Okay, speed limits up, so we are going to increase the throttle. And speed limit is about 140-ish, I think. Okay, that makes sense because, you know, I, I, especially with a force feedback joystick, sometimes, you know, the biggest problem I used to face is, is not having a proper rudder control. And with FS passenger, you know, after a long flight, it rates you down, it used to rate you down very badly, depending on how hard the landing was. So yeah, I, I would sometimes just, you know, not, not take over hand flying until the very last possible minute. And if it's a PMDG plane or, or the, I, I, I also extensively used to fly the CLS 767, you know, even use the auto land. I 
I know it was a sin, but I, I, I would do so many auto lands just to make sure it's a nice soft landing for the uh, passengers, especially with FS passengers on. Wow, I mean, you got the full setup, my friend. I'm sure rudder pe pedals would definitely help. I mean, after a point, I think rudder pedals absolutely make sense. It's a good investment. Cat 3 Autoland, yes. especially on PMDG planes or even the CLS 767. I'm not sure. Have you, Tyler, ever flown the CLS uh, 767? I'm sure you did. I mean, if you have played FS-10 or even FS-2004, you'd have definitely flown the CLS 767. The best 767 out there. The Captain Sim 767 was a very nicely modeled one with especially really nice interiors. But, you know, in terms of fidelity the cls 767 the level i'm sorry not cls level d 767 i'm so wrong level d 767 not cls and and trim the other uh i'm not sure how how is trim being handled in uh fs 2020 but at least till fs 10 i always found trimming the planes to be a huge challenge properly trimming properly speed was sliding out of control a little bit so brakes are on and we are now bleeding the speed down 2.4% downhill slope. It's quite a bit. So you have to watch your speed. Fourteen percent throttle. That shouldn't work. So off again. And how are your trimming skills, Tyler? Yeah, truly. In, absolutely, in, in real life, Tyler, trimming the plane will be a lot easier because you also do it by the feel, right? So you trim it such that the the back pressure on on the yoke or the joystick you know neutralizes you can do that by feel but doing it in fs to fs to 10 2020 as well i'm sure especially when you had a force feedback joystick was really difficult to get that right
Oh, wow. Nice, Tyler. That's that's really nice. Congratulations. I'm, I I have never flown a plane in in real life, of course, from like as a pilot. So I'm I'm sure nothing beats the the feeling of, you know, being up there, in real life. So someday soon, maybe when you do your solo flight and and get your license, it'll be an awesome achievement. So all the best to that, Tyler. Again, some beautiful German scenery here. And for folks who are catching up late, this is Dresden Chemnitz, the Ranter Rampe, and we are doing the PR 182 TV, taking a freight train from Freisberg to Dresden. And here I am battling slopes and trying not to overspeed. Why do you say it's like driving a car, Tyler? You really have to be very aggressive with the brakes in this route to manage the speed. To know my friend. So so are you are you doing flights in a Cessna or a Piper or something at this stage, Tyler? And and again, since you're an avid flight simmer, it must have been especially less challenging for you, Tyler. I mean, I think that's where your background in flight simulation would have helped compared to a person, let's say, who, do, who does it for the first time with no exposure to simulations beforehand, vis-a-vis -vis a person like you, I think it makes a world of difference, doesn't it? Cessna 175. That's nice stuff, Tyler. I mean, that's really brilliant stuff. So happy you're doing it. And, and cheers to you, my friend. Shout out to you. And any train simulations lately, Tyler? Wow. So, so when is your first solo flight?
so we have a red signal and Okay, signals back in green. We are good to go. All the best, all the best for your first solo flight whenever you schedule that. Do do let me know when you do that and, and you know a big shout out to you and a big shout out for you. For your first solo flight on the channel then Tyler and then what's happening on the train simming side then no 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 train sims right now Signal screen again. So we're now 6.8 kilometers out of Dresden, Altstadt. So we are doing service 85035, which is a freighter service using a BR-182 DB from Freiburg, Sachs to Dresden, Friedrichstadt. All going good so far. Hope you get some time over the weekend, Tyler. Hope you are able to sneak in some loco time over the weekend. Okay, we don't have clearance to proceed, so we have to stand, stop, and wait for the signal to change. <clears throat> so we're going to set the train brake to 1P and let the speed slow down gently so that if the signal changes, then we can still just speed back and you know get our way out. And that's that's a busy schedule, Tyler. All the best with that, my friend. It's going to be a busy week ahead uh, as well. 
but that's okay. Busy is a good problem to have. And I'm sure sooner or later you'll get some time or be able to sneak in some time for train sim or flight sim. Whatever relaxes you. So five kilometers to dress in. We can speed back up. You mean here in, in Amsterdam, Tyler? It's 2.11 a.m. But it's okay since it's a Saturday. But yeah, I'm not sure if that is what you meant. Okay. So, so does it take you long to kind of reach Toronto from, from your place? Is it like a long drive? No, we are four. Uh, so it's two eleven. So yeah, two. It would mean what four, six, six hours ahead. Okay, hour and a half is a is a fairly long drive. You'd be surprised with the amount of ground you can cover in the Netherlands on a high-speed track in an hour, in hour and a half, like in, in a car on an expressway. You'd have covered a significant portion of the Netherlands. Me too. Me too, Tyler. Driving and some good music with that, yeah? That's interesting. Yeah, but it's also like 
you know, in, in Netherlands, which is such a smaller country, especially if you compare to Canada. Wow. Yeah, that's a significant time saving. For sure, man. 40 minutes versus hour and 10 minutes. Oh, we have signal. So ease the throttle forward. significant merits of driving yeah Tyler there is a rail pool livery and that's a new livery that came with the new horizons pack time to slow down Okay, that's just me being careful. So if you're ever in Amsterdam, Tyler, some, some good train rides on me. Right now, outside Dresden, you can see a whole bunch of DV trains. Yeah, that's a BR-143. Pretty much on the final approach now.
guys that's our train that's the tvpr 182 that we just drove in from Freisberg Sachs to Dresden Friedrichstadt and this was the second ride of the day so today we did Northern Transpennine where we did the class 45 blue on the express service from Leeds to Manchester with a with a stop at Huddersfield and then this was the second run of the day where we did a freight run in the 182 on Taranto Rampe, dressed in Chemnitz. Idea was you don't look at an old engine from another time, from the past, versus a state of the art electric engine and, and kind of get the feel of both. So both were fun just loved both and, and in any case the 182 happens to be one of my if not my most favorite uh, engine in, in the modern electric engines that are available in train sim world 2 uh, if it's number one then of course the number two will be the ACS 64 from Amtrak but yeah these are my favorites so I think it, it was great fun in the stream today a lot of you were there Thanks, Tyler. No, 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 no. You missed nothing, Tyler. Nothing. I, I was just saying uh, stuff. And I was saying if you're in Amsterdam, <clears throat> I'll take you for a few nice train rides. Uh, because I think, yes, we have some great trains in Europe. Of course, there are in, in Canada and US as well. But yeah, amazing trains in Europe, especially in the Netherlands. So if you're ever here, the train rides are on me. And... Uh, Yes, having said that, I think, guys, again, great stream today. Fantastic having everyone here. Big shout out to my friend, my brother, Tyler, for being there in the stream. Great talking to you, Tyler. It's the street cars in Toronto. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. There will be more. And, and, and try out the ones in Train Sim World 2. Oh, they should be fun for you to drive. And, uh, yeah, for other folks folks who are new to the channel, folks who are seeing the video or will see the video for the first time, uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you like simulation and train simulation in general. And I will see you back in my future streams. I'll see you back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Have a nice Sunday, guys. I'll see you back in tomorrow's Sunday stream with some really exciting stuff with more new routes and new engines, new trains and some old ones that we already love. With all that, good night and good night Tyler. Indeed, have a nice time tomorrow. Have fun picking your parents up and I'll see you back all in the stream tomorrow. Good night guys. This is your boy Saurav signing off from Amsterdam. Ciao. See you tomorrow.